stay there. <laughs> this is a story of a man with a very strange <laughs> fate. Hey, look. It's like I've grown wings. <laughs> The lavatory. On an airplane. Another successful dive. Touching memories called mementos. Allows me to dive into the past. The day little Peggy was killed, I survived. Miraculously, somehow, I survived. In exchange for losing my memory, I gained this power. has to be a sign of something. The past will surely tell me the truth. <gasps> Look for the... I can't get a voice out of my head. Who killed her? Just who is D? The only way to silence that voice is to change my fate. Mastermind? Witness? Or maybe? from an airplane during a flight? That's impossible. There's got to be something I'm missing. Oh. Oh. Are you okay? Uh. <laughs> David. Little Peggy? Sir, are you okay? You look like you've just seen a ghost. My apologies, Olivia. You just look so much like an old girlfriend of mine. What's that supposed to mean? Just for a second, I actually thought little Peggy had come back to life. I have to get back to work. Sure. No problem, Olivia. Just one thing, sir. You're surely aware that we carry a passenger list aboard. Huh. Memorized it, have you? We don't take kindly to stowaways, if that's what you are. A stowaway, am I? Well, Miss Olivia Jones. Maybe you're on to me.
Sir, may I help you? You mentioned the uh, passenger list? Oh, I'm sure it's just my mistake. You really do have it memorized? I thought I did, but I'm still new at this job. It's probably just my mistake. I'm sorry I said anything. You called me a stowaway, didn't you? My apologies for that, sir. What did you mean? Nothing really. No deep meaning. Nothing at all? I must apologize if I have upset you. I didn't mean to. I'm truly very sorry. Is it true that there's a United States Marshal aboard this flight? Why would you ask such a thing? I heard some of the other crew talking. <laughs> Let's hope she buys that. I have no idea. No idea at all? Isn't the passenger list burned into your memory? Even if I did know, I couldn't tell you. Why would you care to know, may I ask? Oh, just a passing interest. You're a United States Marshal. You're transporting a key witness, but reading a completely different file. Does that just mean you're passionate about your job? Or is there something else going on here? You, what are you doing here? Derek Buchanan, United States Marshal. The owner of the memento I used to get here, along with a name that starts with D. Two signs I can't ignore. I said I'd kill you if I saw you again, didn't I, boy? It seems we've already met somewhere. I can tell you the details, but it might take a while. I don't want your life story. Do I need to spell it out to you? Get lost. <laughs> I'm afraid that doesn't work for me. I've got business with him. Antonio Rabbit Zapatero, a dealer of the drug called Real Blood. Apparently, he also has evidence that could lead to the identity of D. If that's true, it makes him the most important person on this flight. You really have a death wish, don't you? Yet you might be the one who dies. How dare you? You should get out as quickly as you can. I'll keep the fountain pen. to remember you by.
snow on the front, cherry blossoms on the back. They change them according to the season? It isn't totally atrocious, but hardly avant-garde now, is it? I'd expect no less flying coach, of course. Would it have killed them to use a little real stitching? Honestly! And who might you... I don't ask for opinions from the uninspired. Suki, baby, what do you think? Dress all the seats white, then crown them with a single pink stag beetle? Oh, yes! Or maybe change all these to black lights, but not too dramatic. Just lay Does straight. your mannequin have a reply? She's not a mannequin. She's my partner. She is? Yes, she is. I'm Duncan, and this is Suki. We're top fashion designers, the both of us. <sighs> <sighs> Duncan. So this guy's also a D. Some people just don't get it, no matter how many times you tell them. My bad, I'm sure. Can I ask you something? I don't need your opinion. After all, I have Suki. The sunglasses in particular are strikingly progressive, don't you think? This is avant-garde. The epitome of my next theme. Hmm. <laughs> The cart that was blocking the aisle has been moved. Now I can expand my search area a little wider. These look like souvenirs from the trip. Four thousand five hundred thirty-nine? Four thousand five hundred forty? There's something fishy going on here. Is there a problem? The west side window. The sun's setting there, so that's the west. The west side window. The angle of the setting sun. That is the left side in regard to our direction of travel. That window right there. That window made a noise, didn't it? You heard it, right? I have to inform Dr. Johnson. Going to Washington, D.C. by plane. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. She has her name written on everything she owns. She's a D2? This is so bad. This plane is going down. It's okay. There's no problem. Oh, shut your mouth. There were lightning strikes on the flight. Over. There's most definitely a problem. The window will keep on creaking. Suddenly, it will break. We'll turn like crazy. Lightning will hit us again. A direct hit! Lightning? Yes, lightning. It'll blow an engine up this time, that's for sure. And what happens then, Mr. No Problem? This plane won't be flying anymore. You agree with me now, right? This plane is going down! No. This plane didn't crash. Did it crash? Did it? How the fuck would you know that? Who the hell do you think Is you there are? a problem, oh. madam? This, this dumb shit here is fucking with me. I told him the noise the window was making is bad news. I told him. Well, madam, I'm sure you did. <laughs> Very well. I just. Uh, Please allow me to it's handle this. Unbelievable. I well, well. So Let me life. see now. Mr. Young, wasn't it? I have to admit, I didn't expect to ever see you again. I can't imagine why. <sighs> the 
This flight attendant seems to know me. I have no idea when I met him, however. For me, our first meeting is a past that hasn't happened yet. You are quite the stubborn mule. The type who won't stay dead even if he gets killed, maybe. I wonder... <laughs> if you're going to cause trouble, I may have to eject you from the game. Trouble? Me? Your watch was about to fall off. It looks expensive, so I didn't think you'd want to lose it. I'm just a polite, helpful passenger. Look, ref, if you're gonna bench anyone, bench her. And I heard it, and if you don't listen to me, I don't know what <sighs> I'll do. Just listen. Now I've got three people with names that start with D. Deborah Anderson, Duncan, and Derek Buchanan. To be honest, I still don't know if any one of them is who I'm after. But there's a bag load of room for suspicion. Right, little Peggy. Snow and cherry blossoms. A seasonal theme, I'm guessing? The Metro M. That's the subway in DC. The Boston MBTA uses a T symbol, so this ticket was used in DC. Nothing looks out of place. This is business class. I cannot let you through. What if I push the point? You will find that I push back. way in the business class has quite the guard dog. Moving a guard dog requires some bait. A disturbance should work.
luggage is hitting it. That's what's making the window squeak. Oh. oh my. This door makes the window creak. I can use this to make that nervous wreck go into overdrive. More of this. You've Every heard it before, you know. Just... more than 100 rigorous checks before. What? Are you saying these window noises are all in my head? Are you dumb buck? I thought you were a nice gentleman. Madam, you think I I'm just some you, complainer, some the... lawsuit seeker? Do you? This is completely unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. Show me your name tag. Show it to me! Employee number D-3582. I've burnt it into my forebrain. Once I'm home, yes, I am going to sue you. I have never been so mad in my life. <laughs> I, I'm just practicing what I preach. As you I wish, madam. That. However, perhaps if we Is change your... Is there any way I field, can talk to your manager? I'm sure the sound I've of windows would not annoy you in, say, and every... business class. Hmm? The seats I've... are very fluffy, too. Business? That's a uh, class? It is, madam. I could show you to your seat. One where I can't hear the windows. No creaking. nasty window noises in this. <laughs> well, I... If you'll just allow me to explain the procedure for your upgrade. I suppose that could be okay. <laughs> you never... I saw that big man. The scar on my forehead started to throb. It's never happened before. What's going on here? Returning. 